Here I'm going to pose and answer a series of true-false questions about basic uh, set theory just to sort of solidify some of these ideas in your head. First of all, true or false, the empty set is a subset of the set containing the elements 2 and 3. You really only have to know one thing here, and it's something we've talked about, and that is that the empty set is a subset of every set. If you know that, that little factoid, the empty set is considered to be a subset of every set, then obviously this is true. It's also a proper subset of every set as well, had I asked that. Second, the empty set is an element of the set containing the elements 2 and 3. Now be careful, this is the reason I'm posing this. Subset is different than an element of. When I say something is an element of a set, I have to actually see that exact thing inside the set as one of its elements on the right. Now, the empty set does not appear inside of the set on the right, so it is not an element of that set. You have to get the distinction between element and subset in your head. So this falls this statement is absolutely false. If you change it back to subset, it's true. The difference between a subset and an element. To even further emphasize this, look now, I kept the element, but I actually put the empty set as an element of the set on the right. Now, what the exact thing you see on the left appears inside of the set on the right as an element of the set on the right. Now the empty set is in fact an element of the set on the right, making that statement true. Think about that. These distinctions are important. Now, this problem says the set containing five, the elements five, six, and seven is a subset of the set containing five, six, seven, and eight. Remember, to be a subset, a set on the left has to have every element belonging to it appear as an element of the set on the right. And as you can see, that is in fact true. So this statement is true. changed a little bit. I added the element 8 to the set on the left. Now, if I do the same thing I did before, there's a 5 in both, there's a 6 in both, there's a 7 in both, there's an 8 in both. Now, as long as every element appears on the, that, uh, that appears as an element on the left, appears as an element right, then it is a subset. It's also true that these two sets are equal, but that doesn't matter. This statement is still true. And if you think about it, the way I think about the notation, this little underline here uh, allows us to have equality. The, tr the sets are equal, but that's allowable with subsets. But to make that contrast, I want to do this problem, which says The set containing the elements 5, 6, 7, and 8 is a proper subset of the set containing five, the elements 5, 6, 7, and 8. Now, the difference between regular subset, which has the uh, horizontal line, underline, and the proper subset, which doesn't, is that the proper subset does not allow equality. If I just had the proper subset here, which is what I did here, that changes this statement from true to false, because now... A proper subset does not allow the possibility of equality. 
Now I could put the proper subset notation up here and it would still be true because it wasn't it wouldn't be equal. Everything on the left, every element on the left would still be an element on the right, but they're not equal. So I could use either symbol to make this one still true. But proper subset does not allow for equality, so that would be false.